Uh, so 1536, I think, is what you went on the day. Just tell me what happened in the second moto there. Yeah, so just came off that little double, and the back end dropped into another rut, and right off the face, just completely sideways, landed sideways, and it just slapped me down. There was really no saving it. So uh, got a little banged up, but it was mainly the bike, so just couldn't finish the second moto. You've had a pretty strong year, and honestly, I haven't done much research on you. What's kind of your story, dude? Like, where, where you come from? What's the deal? Uh, from Maryland, uh, kind of normal childhood, going to school and everything. It wasn't like all moto. Um, yeah, just I was able to ride all winter this past winter, and that kind of helped me out this yeah. year. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what did it for me, but I've been getting – I got a couple points of – you know years back but nothing like this year that's for sure <laughs> were your goals changing throughout the year where you're like man okay now i'm getting points like ah oh, now i can get top 15 maybe look at a top 10 like you kind of updating your goals throughout the year yeah yeah so i got my first points at southwick and that was kind of weird because i that was the last track i expected to get points yeah. at um then the next weekend i got a couple more and really unadilla is what switched it i got five points i got points both motos and then right there, I was like, okay, if I can get five points each each weekend, like that would be good. And then went to Bud's Creek. I had I went 13, 16, and then it was kind of like, okay, I can do it. Yeah. So that gave me a bunch of confidence, and uh, I had I had a few tough motos, but all in all, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. Maryland local, so Bud's Creek is, is like home for you, right? Do you feel comfortable there? Yep, yep. I'm about an hour 45 from Bud's, yeah. so uh, we ride there during the week. You know, when it's warm enough. And, uh, yeah, I like the track. It's never like it is on Pro Day. Yeah. But to have the layout and the jumps, you know, not have to figure that out. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's good. And then you kind of know how far you can push it in spots. So, yeah, it helps. Well, we're kind of, like, almost making fun of it a little bit because we always talk about, like, Southwick locals and Southwick locals do well at Southwick. This year, Maryland locals crushed it at Bud's Creek. Like, what's the deal with that? Everybody just showed up and played, it seemed like, this year. Yeah, I don't know. I think we were all kind of shocked. Like, yeah. I was shocked on my results. I think Stepik was a little bit, too. <laughs> yeah, Stepik um, crushed it. Yeah, Rod Bell, he, he, he's always done pretty well. Um, but, yeah, I think just we have a good group of guys, and yeah. we kind of ride together and kind of push ourselves uh, in the off season. So I think that helped a lot. What does this season do for you looking forward? Like, is, does it kind of change your plans of how you're going to view your career? Are you going to try to take some more steps next year? Or, you know, what do you look at for it? Yeah, so pretty much this was going to be my last year. Okay. Um, now with looking at a two-digit and everything, I'd kind of be crazy not to go for yeah. next year just to run the number right, at least. Right. Um, but, yeah, so we'll take it, you know, week at a time a year at a time and we'll see how it goes but yeah definitely uh threw a wrench in the plans i already yeah. had for for the coming years <laughs> so who's your traveling posse here you got this motor home here you got a bunch of people coming with you like who comes to the races with you every week and helps you out yeah so typically it's me and my dad okay. we have a van and a trailer but um a buddy of mine right there kevin he uh he offered to bring me in his rig for these couple weeks and you know he drove me out here. He's been feeding me. You know, I, I'm kind of getting spoiled with all this. Um, but my dad flew out for each round. And then this weekend, my dad and my boss flew okay. out. So it's cool. We got a little group here, and I couldn't be happier. I'd, I'd like more friends and family, but, I mean, I'm from Maryland, so yeah. California is not a real easy trip for right, everybody. Right. So your boss, what do you what do you do during the week? Because this is Runkles Racing on the weekend. What's Runkles during the week like? Uh, so I do HVAC okay, for a residential yeah. company. You and Rod Bell, man. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, something about hot attics uh, really makes you want to go faster on a dirt bike. Yeah, makes you feel like, oh, you know, it might be a little bit better to do that dirt biking thing for a exactly, career. Exactly, exactly. Of living the attic all day. Yep. Um, so, yeah, just great year overall. I mean, how would you kind of summarize just everything that's happened to you this year? Because it's it's been a big turnaround for you, obviously. Yeah, it's... um. It kind of isn't real. I didn't expect, I think I ended up with 36 points for this yeah. year. And honestly, I would have been over the moon with 10. Yeah. And then it just kept jumping. So it's uh, it's definitely been really cool. Yeah, yeah. And it probably hasn't hit me yet until I kind of see what number I get. <laughs> and I think then it'll hit me. Yeah, yeah. But right now I'm just kind of biting at the bit to see where I'm at. <laughs> I think you're going to be like 80s or something, right? Somewhere around there. Yeah, someone told me with like everything jumping around, I could be from like 84 to 90. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully the lower the better. Do you have one in there that you prefer? 
No, any two digit. I'd take 99 and a half, honestly. Okay, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, who would you like to thank for getting you to the races this year? Uh, my whole family, friends, everybody. Um, blood lubricants, FXR, Gas Gas, FMF, uh, 60, 100%. Um, Dreisman family, uncles, uh, Jimmy Anderson, HVAC, Kevin Heck, um, just so many people. I, I can't, can't think of them all. <laughs> I got a whole list. Awesome. But they know who they are, and yeah. thank you guys. Hey, yeah, I just got off. To, I got off to a good start, my first moto. Oh, actually, I was really bad start. I was in, like, 25th. I actually caught up to, like, 13th uh, first lap and went, made my way to 11th. Uh, had a little overheating, overheating issues because of the weather out here, so my bike wasn't running all the best. But uh, we made the best of it. I think I got 18th, fell back some positions, but I'm happy with it. I learned a lot. Uh, second moto, was uh, it was really tough for me, but I, I dug in deep, and I finished the moto, and that was all I really could do. And I'm just happy to get these last two rounds. It's a good experience to go into next year. And, yeah, next two weeks, take off and get ready for Supercross. So what was the whole plan with uh, you did Loretta's and then you, you skipped a few nationals but then came out for these last two? Was that the plan all along or did something come up? Yes, sir. Uh, we uh, did Loretta's and I'm stationed in uh, Lake Elsinore, California. Okay. So we're doing it out of the van. So yeah. it's just been a lot to go to the next two rounds in the van. So we just focused on uh, Paula and Hangtown and came out swinging, did the best we could. Is that where you're from? I didn't know that. I'm from Portland, Oregon, actually. Okay. I just live in Lake Elsinore. Gotcha, now. Yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you down there then. Um, so Supercross, you going to try Supercross or what's the plan there? Yep, Supercross. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm doing for a ride for next year, but uh, we're going to figure that out. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do West or East, but I'd assume I'm going to do West Coast. I'm a West Coast guy. What was your expectations coming into racing these rounds? Because you you know coming off Loretta's, you, you kind of knew where you stacked up against some of those guys like Kitchen and them, but did you have any high expectations like finishing top 20 even? I mean, yeah, I mean, that was just a goal just to get into the motos. I knew I could do that pretty easy, but uh, yeah, just top 20 and just really learn from these. That was my biggest thing was learning, and I did a lot of that, and I made a lot of gains this, this weekend, which I'm super happy with, and just got to figure out some things with my body and my recovery for that next moto, but uh, overall, it was solid. Um, how about the heat? How about dealing with the heat these last two rounds? Have they been difficult? or? Yeah, dude. Uh, I could, I know Paula was hotter, but it did feel pretty hot because we were second moto today. Last weekend we were first moto. But yeah, the heat is brutal, dude. You got to really, you got to prepare for it and you got to, you got to uh, make sure you got to write, write supplements in your body to get you through that because if you don't, man, it's going to be, it's going to be hell out there. Yeah. How much different is the experience like with the tracks, the longer motos and everything than, than coming from amateurs like you were? Oh, dude, I enjoy it so much better because... I don't really enjoy being at the track for a full week and, you know, waiting to see how you do. Yeah. But, uh, I love this program. You go out and you get it done in one day, two practices, two motos. Uh, you got four times to prove yourself throughout the whole day. And Yeah, I, I really enjoy this. My stress levels at the uh, Pro Nationals are less than Loretta's. Oh, okay. So I, I actually I had more fun with this because um, I, I knew I didn't have to do anything spectacular. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just had to do it for myself. and. Just figure everything out. How different is it just lining up against like a Justin Cooper and a Jet Lawrence? So like, do you do you almost like not feel starstruck? I guess because they're still young. But I mean, do, is it weird to be in that position finally? I guess in your career. Um. Yeah, it's cool. It's just what I've dreamed of since I was a little kid. You know, I've been at this amateur thing for like 17 years, so it's been a long time coming. Uh, it wasn't too like crazy lining up with them. Like I ride with them a lot in California. Um. I know where I can be, yeah. so we're just going to work towards that and get that going for next year. Who would you like to thank for getting you to these last two races? Uh, I'd like to thank AEO Power Sports, EMT Racing, Research Engineering Suspension, uh, VP Racing Fuels, Fly Racing, Scott, uh, JBP uh, Cleaning Supplies, Dunlop, uh, Gas Gas, my mechanic Joe, my mom and dad, my girlfriend. Oh man, just fusion, everybody that's in my corner, I just, I really couldn't do it without them. All right, we're here with RJ Wageman, uh, Paula National 2021. How was your day today, RJ? It started off really well. Um, practice session number one, I actually out-qualified Robbie, 16th fastest. I don't want to hear it. Pretty awesome, dude. Um, so I'll forever be pumped with that. And uh, we had a really good time. First moto, we ended up 25th. 
And Moto2, I was running 21st, and super unfortunate, my bike blew up. But no, it was sweet. We had a really good time and uh, minimal preparation. So to come out and, and uh, rip some laps with the boys was awesome. I'm glad, man. Personally, I think he blew his bike up on purpose because he was so tired he didn't want to finish that moto. But I'm proud of him either way. He was ripping, so I'm proud of him. What's going on, guys? This is RJ Wageman, and now we are going to interview Robbie. So how was your day, dude? How did it feel to get smoked in practice one? Actually, it felt really good. You know, I really needed that by my brother, RJ. Um, I already talked to him. I needed that. It felt good. Uh, I don't think that's really ever happened before. So to have that happen, it, it put some fire under me. And uh, we went out and ran, like, what, two or three seconds faster than him the second practice. That, that, is, that is not true. Maybe one second. Maybe one second. I don't know. I ran a 213 flat, and he ran a 215, so... One second. 13, 14, 15. That's two. So how were the motos for you? What did we end up? Motos were good. Uh, first moto, I got off to an okay start. And then, uh, man, I just uh, couldn't find a flow halfway through. And then I ended up 17th the first moto, which I'll take it. It's not bad. And then second moto, got a little better start and picked a couple people off right in the beginning and cruised it in in 13th. So I'm, I'm pumped on the day. Can you share any secrets with your program? Anything you may eat in between motos? I definitely eat a lot of our jerky. And that's what I ate in between moto one and two. And I think that's why I went a little faster in moto two. What flavor are we talking? Um, personally, I like the western. Maybe sweet and spicy to, to spice it up a little bit if I really want to put some fuel under me for that moto number two. You heard it from him, Robbie Wageman himself. 1713? Yes, 1713, the guy eats our jerky. What a good day for us. We had fun. Here we are. Paula National, Hangtown next weekend? That's right. We'll be there. <laughs> right on, guys.